Good afternoon, everybody. I am uh, Jacopo De Sanctis, and I'm working uh, uh, with Sojin SPA, that is a state company in Italy, uh, for the decommissioning of uh, old uh, nuclear power plant uh, and uh, nuclear waste uh, management. Today, I would like to talk about uh, uh, implementation of a 3D groundwater flow and radionuclides transport model at Eric's plant in uh, north of Italy by means of uh, FIFLO simulation. The Aerox plant area is located in, uh, in Italy, in the uh, Piemonte region near Turin. Uh, in the southwest and the west sides, the area is uh, surrounded by the uh, river called uh, Dora Baltea, uh, while in the southeast side uh, by the uh, irrigation channel, uh, and in the northeast side by fluvioglacial terrains. The total uh, modeling area is about uh, six kilometers square. Uh, Erex <laughs> is a form of spent fuel reprocessing, reprocessing pilot plant uh, that uh, it was built uh, in, in the 60s. Um, we, we have uh, another uh, Erex plant. Uh, we have uh, two different uh, um, repository, Avogadro, that is a uh, spent fuel repository too, and Sorin, that a uh, nuclear waste repository for uh, biomedical industry. Um, uh, why we performed the um, uh, numerical model in this, uh, in this area? Because uh, in uh, 2004, uh, it was found a contaminated water uh, inside the safety test space around the spent uh, fuel pool. And uh, in 2006, uh, uh, anomalous concentration of uh, strontium-19 were found in uh, the shallow aquifer. The area, the modeling area is uh, in uh, on the left side of this picture. Uh, and uh, we performed, to do this, uh, we performed two different models. A large scale model that is the whole of the domain, uh, the Saluja areas. And the local scale model that a small part of the entire domain that uh, is uh, only the Eurex plane. Uh, we can see here. Uh, the blue area is the, the pool. The spent pool. Uh, by means of uh, um, a many of uh, experimental data, hydrological and uh, uh, geological data, uh, we were able to reconstruct the, the domain, the stratigraphic model, and uh, we can see uh, six different layers. Each layer is characterized from different porous medium. Uh, the range for uh, the range of porous mediums is here. Uh, and uh, uh, <laughs> for uh, first to four layers uh, re uh, represents the uh, shallow aquifer, the five layer represents the aquiclude, and uh, the last layer is the deep aquifer. Uh, now uh, we, we modeled only the shallow, uh, shallow aquifer uh, as first uh, uh, application. Uh, we, we had to introduce the two different super mesh polygon. The first one is the concrete flood defense wall around the air explained area. And, uh, uh, and uh, the second super mesh represents the um, air pool. Uh, we had to add two additional layers to represent the basis of the wall foundation at different depths between the second and the third uh, geological layer. Um, uh, as a first approach, we performed a steady state flow model. Uh, we introduced the three different boundary conditions in upstream boundary, in southern boundary, and for the river. Uh, each boundary condition is a linear interpolation at fixed point in order to obtain a gradient in the boundary condition value. Uh, here uh, we can see a zoom, zoom in in a central part of the model domain, uh, uh, because we, we used uh, a great network uh, <laughs> piezometric wells, uh, observation wells, about 90 wells, uh, uh, and uh, we, we can see on the right side uh, the zoom of air explained. Uh, we have many wells <laughs> near and close at the uh, the wall and the, the, the pool. Mm. Uh, before uh, <laughs> to, uh, 
to use the FPS calibration of the hydraulic conductivity, uh, we, we performed a manual uh, calibration only for one uh, boundary condition on the north of the, the, the main. Uh, before the FPS calibration, we obtained this situation, this situation that from a numerical point of view is a um, critical situation because uh, we, we cannot choose different area, zone A and zone B. Zone A represents the well that, uh, that, are, uh, that are located in uh, south of the domain and zone B uh, uh, inside the uh, defense wall uh, and around the pool. Uh, so, uh, a FIPEST calibration, it was mandatory. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, after the FIPEST calibration, we obtain uh, the scatter plot uh, that uh, is uh, the um, calculated results uh, and the ob uh, observed data uh, are in good agreement. Uh, and then our results that the hydraulic effect of the fluid defense wall, the main effect of the defense wall is to change the piezometric level uh, of the well, of two different well, just, just before and later the, the presence of the wall. Uh, and <laughs> we can see the effect here in the calculation. Uh, it's important to, to, to stress that uh, this effect is independent from the FIPES calibration. So the model uh, uh, um, takes into account very well uh, the, the hydraulic effect of the wall. Uh, another, another results, uh, this is the isophriatic level obtained uh, uh, after FIPES calibration, we can see on the left side of the picture, uh, on slice one of the model, uh, the isophriatic line that are broken uh, by the wall uh, here, uh, uh, while in the slice six, uh, on slice six, uh, uh, where uh, the, the wall is the, uh, there isn't more, the isophriatic level is a continuous line. After the steady state flow, uh, we performed a transit flow simulation. Uh, the time of the simulation is about two years. Uh, we, we can see uh, the piezometric level of the shallow aquifer at two different wells, SPG and, and P3. Uh, and the red dash line is the calculated by fee flow. Uh, and uh, the continuous line is the observed data, uh, and uh, we can see that uh, two curves are in good agreement um, among them. Uh, then, to uh, uh, in order to, to have uh, uh, lowest uncertainties in the propagation of uh, strontium-90, uh, we performed, I said before, the local scale model before a steady state flow, and uh, we, we, we had increased uh, the number of nodes by a factor uh, 8.5 from uh, about uh, 3,000 nodes to uh, 100 nodes, uh, respect to the macro model. <coughs> we used the same boundary condition calculating the macro model in, in, uh, at this point along of uh, all the, fa the wall. And then uh, we can see the results. Uh, here the scatter plot is very, very accurate. Uh, we, we can note uh, the uh, exact agreement between the calculated and the, uh, and the um, observed data in the piezometric level. Uh, and on the uh, right side, we can see a more complex isophriatic line inside the aerox pool near, near the pool. Uh, the error bars are uh, six centimeters of tolerance. Then uh, we, we applied the, the transport model. We consider only the strontium-90. The main model assumption are the following. The, 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 the most important uh, is that uh, we assumed that the strontium-90 was instantaneously mixed into the um, groundwater and the effect of unsaturated zone were energy global. Uh, 
And then uh, the strontium-90 really is occurred when uh, groundwater flows the bottom of the pool building where the contaminant was lacked to the cracks of the concrete. Uh, we, we used the, uh, in FIFLOW the time series uh, in uh, 40 can mass transport boundary condition uh, that follow the same behavior, the water table. Um, two different main process, physical process uh, we considered. The first one is a continuous release uh, due to infiltration of contaminant through the concrete of the pool foundation until the groundwater. And the second one uh, is a leasing process that occurs only when the water table reaches the bottom of the pool foundations. The amount of 90 strontium released increases with the level of the water that flows the bottom of the pool building. Uh, from a numerical point of view, we, uh, we performed, uh, uh, we introduced uh, a function, TSS, that depends on TSH, that is the level of the water table. Is an empirical function that uh, we can uh, see in uh, this picture. Uh, the red dashed line is the release of uh, strontium. The horizontal line is the continuous release, while the peaks represents the, the flow the, uh, of the water, the leasing process of the water in the foundation building. And uh, the, the, blue, the continuous line is the behavior of the wa water table. Uh, uh, both the curve is uh, normalized uh, with, the its, uh, with their uh, minimum and max uh, maximum value for each curve. Uh, is, a, uh, is a qualitative uh, uh, study. Uh, our results, we can see on the right side uh, the observed and the calculated curve uh, of the strontium-90 uh, uh, normalized concentration at uh, SPB uh, well uh, that uh, we can see here. Uh, uh, the two curves for, uh, for, uh, for our goal is in good, as first approach is uh, in a good agreement. And um, here we can see uh, the two-dimensional uh, plot of uh, strontium-19 uh, at uh, one simulation day. Uh, it's important uh, to stress that uh, here we, we have uh, two different wells, SPG and uh, SPH, that uh, 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 didn't take any detection of strontium in, uh, in the real case, uh, in observation data. And uh, uh, in our model, uh, it's the same situation. Uh, we can see the same situation. So uh, uh, we have uh, the, here we can see the Eurex pool. Uh, and the uh, uh, point of the release of the source is in the, the corner of the north, uh, northwest side of the, the pool. And uh, some uh, conclusion. Uh, uh, the results <laughs> obtained is uh, a good results, uh, but the difference in the in the concentration, in normalized concentration between uh, the observed and the uh, calculated curves, uh, it depends. Uh, for example, for the uh, because the simulation time starts during a transition period just after the empty of the pool and therefore passing from a primary source uh, w uh, where the strontium uh, is present and uh, to a secondary source uh, implying approximation in the estimation of injection, ra injection rate of the contaminant to the groundwater system. And uh, the, the slight discrepancies between the model results and the experimental ones suggest for the future some more detailed studies, for example, for the future of the river and of the irrigation channel, uh, or on a hydraulic conductivity field for each layers. Thank you for your attention.